20 different cameras will be assigned to several boxes. Hmm, okay, so we're assigning cameras to boxes. Three cameras will be randomly selected and assigned to box A. Which expression can be used to calculate the number of ways that three cameras can be assigned to box A? So, essentially, we're choosing from a number of cameras, there's 20 cameras, we can almost imagine that they're just uh, a bunch of cameras sitting around, cameras, and maybe they're numbered 1 through 20. All right, and we're choosing from that group three that are going to go into a box. All right, so here's our box. This is box A. And we're going to put three in there. The question is which three? Right, so how many different ways could we choose three of these to go in there? All right, so let's do a little review. This is factorial, right? Factorial, um, if you remember, is just multiplying that number times every number that's less than it. So, for example, 4 factorial would equal 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. And your calculator can do this. You can do 4 factorial and it'll come out to 24. What's a combination and what's a, well, I gave it away, <laughs> C and P. C is for combination and P is for permutation. So let's talk for a minute about what each of those are. So the combination is for when you're choosing three objects from a group of 20 where order doesn't matter. So combination, order doesn't matter. Now what do I mean by that? Order doesn't matter. When you're using a combination, you don't care if the three cameras in the box, suppose the cameras in the box are numbers 2, 7, and 12. 2, 7, and 12. You don't care if, they, if you picked them in that order. It could have been 7 and 2 and 12, or 12 and 2 and 7. Those are all the same thing in terms of combinations. You got the same three cameras. So it doesn't matter. Permutation is a little different. In a permutation, the order matters. It's very important. Suppose you were spelling my name. There's 26 letters in the alphabet, right? And in order to spell my name, you have to pick the right three out of that 26. You have to pick D, A, and N. But you have to pick them in the right order. You have to pick the D, and then the A, and then the N. If you pick A, N, D, although you'd have spelled a word, you wouldn't have spelled my name. So the order is very important. So the formulas by which we calculate a combination and a permutation are different. And I'm not going to derive those right now. I'll just give you what they are. And you don't actually have to know them to solve this problem. This is all you have to know. But I do want to tell you what these are for future reference. So in general, I'll use n for the number of items in the set that you're picking from. In this case, it would be 20. But I'm going to write this generally so that you have it. C for combination and X for the number of objects that you're picking from that set. And then the formula for a combination becomes N factorial over N minus X factorial times X factorial. And Hopefully you can see that. That's for a combination. And for a permutation, we would write NPX. And it's still N factorial, but now it's only over N minus X factorial. That extra X factorial gets added for the combination because there's less combinations than permutations. And we should be able to make sense of why that is. So let's get back to this problem. They want to know the number of ways that three cameras can be assigned to box A. Clearly, we don't care if it's 272 or 7212 or 1227. These are all the same combination. So we're going to use 20C3, and that's the answer. Now, of course, if we had chose 20P3, then we would be saying that the order does matter and that these three are separate and distinct choices. 
so there would be more of them. Using the same three numbers, we could put them in many different orders. So there will be more permutations than combinations. And that's why this number doesn't have that extra term that it's being divided by. Clearly, if you divide by an extra term, this is going to become smaller than this. So NPX will usually be greater than NCX. And that's a good way to remember which one is the permutation and which one is the combination if you can't remember when the order matters. Well, I hope that helps you understand a little more about combinations and permutations and what they are and how they work. And um, also know that your calculator can do both of these as well. So you may not need to memorize these formulas, although I think it is uh, helpful in some cases. Uh, in this one, it's really just about knowing when the order matters. And um, that's all you need.